How you all doing guys? Brandon here. Welcome back to Retro Dodo. Now, one thing I want to do more on the channel is feature modders in the retro gaming community that are doing incredible things. And one incredible product that I have in today is by a company called Boxy Pixel. They're quite popular on Instagram and they've basically niched themselves to making metal accessories for Game Boy products. And their recent one is basically taking the Game Boy Advance SP here and putting it in a metal unhinged shell. So admittedly, the hinged clamshell design is very, very popular. It's a great concept for Nintendo to make their handhelds more portable. But for those of you that want a premium metal feel, this is the product to go for. Now, it's called the Game Boy Advance SP Unhinged. There is a link below for any one of you that are interested in taking a look. And it's basically a DIY project for your Game Boy Advance SP that you will need a new uh, IPS display for. And basically, Boxy Pixel here has pre built one for us nicely. And I. <sighs> I'm just incredibly excited about this because I've been wanting it for a while and Boxy Pixel were kind enough to make it for us. So we bought all the parts off them and they were kind enough to basically pre-build it. So it looks like you get a sticker and a business card. This looks like something maybe to do with the battery. And here is the product itself. I'm hoping, okay, wow, 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 look at this. Oh Lord, it's heavy. And you guys know I'm into my metal handhelds from the RG350 series. Oh my God. Look at that. Wow. Okay, metal buttons, metal start and select. You've got your triggers at the back here. Oh my god, the cartridge slot at the bottom with USB-C. Okay, this feels like... If I had to guess what the analog pocket was going to feel like, I can imagine this is what it's going to feel like. The battery compartment's in there. The trigger buttons are original from the Game Boy Advance SP. And the screen has been placed into like a DMG format now with the IPS funny playing screen inside. Oh, look at that. Like this is under studio lights right now. And yet, yet that screen is looking stunning. Wow, okay, looks like, is that the brightness? Oh no, that's the volume on the side. The metal, wow, that D-pad. Okay, metal buttons, you know, I very often, play on metal buttons, they just feel different. They've got that different feedback to them, very quick feedback. Looks like you've got the speaker grill in there, the display with the Game Boy Advance lens. That's thin there as well. It looks insane, like nothing I've ever put into my hands. Now, let's try and bring over the Game Boy Advance SP there. So you can tell size-wise, it's slightly more compact. It's definitely heavier, obviously, because of the shell, but there isn't too much difference in the form factor. Obviously, you can't slant the screen on the unhinged version, but the metal shell and the metal buttons, oh my God, should we put a game in and see how it looks? Oh, that, that's nice. Just, just look at it, guys. That is something else. And I like the accent here. It almost gives it a, like a like a chin. Oh, the start select are bouncy. Like the A, B are quite solid, like very solid feedback. But the start and select is incredibly bouncy. Wow, I am really, really liking this. You got the LED lights in here to show you your battery. That backlit display, which you don't get on an AGS-001. Wow, this is just a totally different way to play. Just, just look at it. You probably won't focus much. But oh 
my god all metal aluminium all metal buttons the back triggers are perfectly placed wow wow okay like it wasn't even up full brightness so it looks like that is full brightness there making it even brighter that display is actually very impressive and i've read a lot about funny playing's ips displays but this one is clean very very sharp i am liking that that is absolutely stunning and boxy pixel and the team should be proud of what they're doing admittedly it's expensive for the shells all of the accessories you're going to be paying upwards of near $200 and you'll require a Game Boy Advance SP to mod that as well. So it is an expensive mod, but it's definitely targeting those that are handheld collectors and Game Boy modders. And you know, it's, it's mixed them both perfectly because this is very, very impressive. And I've been wanting this for a very, very long time. If you can see at the bottom as well, there's a little hole. This one's covered, but you can actually buy an add-on as well that goes internally. You might have to solder it up that adds a headphone jack to the Game Boy Advance SP unhinged. I haven't added that at the moment, but I might get around to it, but that's an extra option as well should you want a headphone jack in your new Game Boy Advance SP. But it's crazy that this is now this, a more compact, better backlit screen with a metal shell and just an all-round very very nice finish this is impressive i'm liking it i'm a big fan of metal handhelds but this is just something i couldn't picture unless i had my hands on it like an unhinged game boy advance sp is mad and i am absolutely in love with this there is links below. BoxyPixel didn't sponsor this video. I bought this out of my own money. They were just nice enough to pre-build it for us to showcase uh, basically how it works straight out of the box. So there it is, a quick look at the Game Boy Advance SP Unhinged. If you want to see more cool retro mods and handhelds, hit subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.